Hello and welcome to this finally I have made it to here let's play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I know I said I would do it ages and ages and ages ago but I couldn't find for the life of me a way to record it without then having to do a ton of editing because the cutscenes are like oh, and so you know I kind of put it off because I'm a little bit lazy like that but I finally found because OBS can do this OBS can record the window OBS is love OBS is life so uh, a little bit of disclosure again like at the beginning of the Warhammer Mark of Chaos series I am a bit of a Star Wars nerd uh, the extended universe is kind of my favorite thing about the universe Han Solo and you know Luke Skywalker the Emperor Darth Vader those guys are all cool but Revan and the Old Republic that's where the shit is at that's the cool stuff so I've got this game fairly heavily modded, there's some texture mods, there's a mod that lets me choose my own feats, and for this recording I'm just going to do the first episode, so you may or may not see this. If you see this, hello, I'm Grey Hunter. welcome. Uh, if you don't, well, you won't. But I just want to make sure that all the recording settings are going well, I'll probably have to fiddle about with the sound volume, so bear with me. I do actually already have a game going, but I'm going to create a new one, so new game. And we are going to be a male. We're not going to be a soldier. We're not going to be a scoundrel. We are going to be a scout. I'm going to go for a scout consular build. So let's pick you. Custom character, of course. And we'll go with which portrait? We'll go with this portrait. This guy. I like this guy. He reminds me of someone. You'll find out who when I name him. So the attributes you can be fairly even-handed with these things. I like to have a high dexterity, so we'll go with 14 in dexterity, 12 in constitution, fairly high intelligence, 14, and a little bit of wisdom. Go for 12 in wisdom, 14 in charisma, 10 in strength, and where will we put the last two points? Uh, the last two points can go into something along these lines. If I bump that down, yeah, that's not really worth it. Some of you are going to be screaming, no, don't build that way, but I like this build. Don't judge me. I like this one. Uh, we'll go with... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll go with a... 15 Intelligence. Because then you'll get five skill points, well, attribute points, over the course of the game. So we'll put four of them into strength to bump it up to 14 at the end. One of them into intelligence to bump it up to 16. Everything else should be pretty good. We could probably take away one point from constitution. Put into wisdom. A consular has fairly high... Uh, Force abilities anyway. Let's see what it recommends. I'll, I can always reset it. Oh. Apparently you have to have it reset it anyway. Uh, let's ignore that then. I'm going to go with this build. I like this build. It makes me happy. So we've got skill points and we can put skill points into any of these skills. Cross class skills cost two points. It's kind of like a, uh, a tabletop RPG. Think Dungeons and Dragons and that sort of thing. So we'll put uh, four points into treat injury. Your cross class skill, four into repair. Persuade is the only skill that is unique to our character, so we'll grab that. Four in awareness. Demolitions, computer use. Let's go with computer use. Four in computer use. We don't really need demolitions. Stealth, meh, it's not really that big of a deal. We can get other stuff later. And feats. We can choose our own feats because of one of the mods that I have. So we gain implant level one as a base thing for being a, uh, a scout. So let's have a look. We'll need some more staying power. So where is conditioning? There it is. I was already on it. Derp. No, that's not the one I meant. I meant the one that gives you extra toughness. That's the one. Yes, give me toughness. Uh, dueling will be useful. So grab that too. We've got five points remaining. I want rapid shot. Flurry. Uh, light armor, yeah, because we'll need it later. Well, we'll need it for the beginning, rather. 
Plus one skill point bonus to demolitions and stealth. Persuade awareness and treat injury. Empathy. Yep. And we'll go with... Hmm. Actually. I'll take that back. I'll take empathy back for now. That will probably be our first pick. But I do want to grab... This. And this. There we go. Okay, so name. No, we're not going to be Dacobdell. We are going to be the guy that this reminds me of. We are going to be Carl. Carl. Agathon. Because that guy totally looks like Hilo. Hell yeah. Let us play. Now I'm going to have to talk over this cutscene. So I'm just going to narrate it. Because otherwise I'm going to get slammed with copyright. And you guys are going to have to sit through ads. And you don't like that. So. No, don't do that. Copyright claims everywhere. It's Star Wars. Just FYI. In case you didn't know. So hopefully these won't yeah, be stretched too much as well, these cutscenes. They're not actually rendered for this size, but uh, we'll make do. If I have to scale down the video, I'm going to be doing it in 720p, so hopefully it'll be looking alright. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, the last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith Armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Dun dun dun. Crushing all resistance, Malik's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. Even more dramatic! Even more dramatic! In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taras, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic dominion. Dot, 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 dot. So you know that it's, you know that shit's getting real when there's four dots, not three. You know the shit's getting real. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I love the music of this as much as you guys probably do, but if we don't talk over it, I'm contractually obliged to do so because, you know, otherwise they go, ooh, that music belongs to John Williams and LucasArts and all that, and they're kind of bitches about this, you know. They don't like it. This one should be okay, though. So this is a Republic cruiser. And it's obviously in a bit of trouble. Just a little bit. Starship down! Starship down! Yeah. That's not going so well. You know they're in a bit of trouble when they're going towards the atmosphere. <clears throat> so I'm going to record this session. It's going to be just to the end of the Endos Bio. Just FYI. So we are on the Endos Bio. And look, there I am. I've even got a funky scar. Come yeah, on. Get it over with. I know. Bad things are happening. Let me go investigate the bad things. Hey Trask. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Oh no! Uh so yeah, who are you, the Endar Spire? I know who he is. Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have I've to seen you before. Bastila. I've we played this game. Sure she makes it off the ship alive. And Bastila's yeah, you pretty much have to go through this. On the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our she's primary a Jedi. duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now no, I got damn well didn't. That oath. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your Probably. skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout, sure. not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Fine, fine. You twisted my arm. Let's do it. Your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Suit up? Okay. So yeah, I already know how to do all this. Give me my shit from my footlocker. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Boop. So let's put on some clothes. I know game. I haven't found a way to turn that off, by the way. Give me my pistol. Unless my sword is better. Nope, my pistol. Anything good? Yep, cardio package. That's for being a, a scout. And there we go, we're all set. Now we're like goddamn Han Solo, except not so solo-y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Aren't you supposed to come with out. me? We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Right. Okay, cool. So yeah, Trask is a part of our party for now. 
Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Apparently I can see through the door. But anyway. Um now that so, the door is open, you better take the lead again. Trask, shut up and let me talk. Good God. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith God is damn it. over on our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Kart Take contacting off. us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spires crew put together. If he says things he's are bad, man. you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Kart's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. Let's go. Let's roll. So, as I was going to say, uh, this game, I that like this game locked. a lot. I don't have the codes to open it, but switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. I hate you. Fine. Be all security-like. So this game is very much like an old-school RPG. As you'll see, you do, like, uh, rolls to hit and that sort of thing. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! It's a lot of fun. For the Republic? Fuck that. Let me live. Gotcha. Alright, let's grab their gear. If they have any gear. So there is looting, etc. It's very much like the first Mass Effect, except, you know, obviously, Star Wars. No goodies. And I've updated some of the textures, so some of the stuff looks a little bit different. Get fucked. Trask, help me. Good job, Trask. Well done. Oh, hey, remains. Loots? Give me the loots. Frag grenade. I like frag grenades. Frag grenade's the best. I'll grab all of those. So I will be also uh, level saving once we get to the next part of the game, Taurus, because it's more effective as a, uh, as a consular, as any Jedi, really, to save your levels past level 6. Because that way you actually get to have a lot more powers. Be a proper Jedi, sort of thing. If you level up normally, you can reach level 8 by the time you leave Taurus, which is nice and all, but you're not really a Jedi then. Hello. Okay, so we paused because, you know, real time pausing. Go! Throw that grenade. Now shoot him. Shoot him. Come on, Trask. Make an effort. He's just slacking off. There we go. And now we will loot. Frag grenades make me happy. Don't blow up near me. I must live. I have to go rescue Bastila, remember? Rescuing. I'll grab that. Oh dear. And a parts pile. So this is very much the tutorial. You kind of have to go through these bits. I can hear you fighting over there. But I guess that's the wrong door. So as you probably heard, that was the sound of lightsabers. It's a dark shadow. Hello. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. She's not doing so well. Come on, Jedi. Kick his ass. Kick his ass, Seabass. What's she doing alright? Oh, good job. Well done. Oh. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. That would have been nice. Now you would think, you know, seeing as she fell right there, you'd get to pick up a lightsaber, but no. Okay, we're getting kind of low on health, so I'm going to use that med pack. There we go. And blap, 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 blap. No, you don't get to do that. That's cheating. Sure. Good job. Okay. So loot you, med pack. And she has a vibration cell. You just know someone at Bioware got a giggle out of that one. They went, hee hee hee, let's do that. 
It'll be the best idea ever. You can't go this way, which is disappointing. You have to go this way. The bridge is just beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. I should have you seen me try to sing, swing a sword? Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Have you seen me try to swing a sword? It, it's not really a good thing, but okay, sure. Let's do swords. What? Swords make me happy. Hi. Take a up. Die. The was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Great. Now I'm not sure if yes? uh, Trask will take your items, because spoilers, he's just temporary. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unequip him because I want all of the stuff, and I'm gonna put on this combat suit. I like combat suits. Uh, let's go back to our blaster. Don't think there's anything particularly good around here. There's another blaster pistol. A repair kit. I'll level up in a second. I just want to collect all of the things first. Yep. Not too much good stuff here. Plus, leveling up is kind of it's kind of useful to wait. Because you can use it to restore your health. Oh. Okay. I don't have a choice this time. You can use it to restore your health if you're just about to die. So, let's go for skills. We get four points. We'll put... Two of them into stealth. And awareness and persuade. And we get a feat. So, we'll grab empathy. And that will be that. Let's go. Come on, Trask. Get There's me to the escape pods. Here. Really? Oh, you get a sword yes, anyway. The Dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Trask, I thought you said that we can't face Jedi. But it's that's a bad plan. No, Trask! So Trask has sacrificed himself to save you so you can run away and get to Bastila and or Carl. personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Bastila's Hello, Carl, who's not Caden. Away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Sith Trooper. I think that there is a, uh, there's supposed to be a stealth portion here. Maybe it's next. Hello. Please die. Damn straight that hurt. Excellent. Or maybe you pick up the stealth generator here. I saw an icon for you a second ago. Now you're lying to me. Hello. Let's kill our way through these guys. And now we've got a tutorial on computer use and repair. Always fun. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram oh, I have a plan. the damaged I have assault a plan. droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. I got a plan, Karth. It's cool. I'm going to do both, because XP's! Let's grab those. Won't use the droid just yet. Uh, no, I don't need the computer slicing tutorial, thanks. We'll overload that. Success. Ah! Oh. oh dear. Oh dear. Logging out. So we gained 150 XP for doing that, but now we can also do this. So what do we got? We've got eight repair parts. Let's just engage it in repair mode, because you don't actually get another benefit for uh, doing that so 100 points you uh, you don't get a benefit for doing everything to it you just have to reactivate it basically and you'll want to keep some of these parts for later because you will need to use them for other you've things. made it just in time 
There's only Damn straight I have. Pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Okay. Who are you, guy? The Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Vassal's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Good point. So we just got another 250 XP, which puts us 625 away from victory. Now, despite the fact that Carl says, hey, you have to get away right now, we're not going to get away right now. Right now, I'm going to stop the video, do a little bit of a sound check, make sure everything is all good, make sure the render turns out okay, and then when we return, we will be going to Taurus. So next time on Let's Play Nice of the Old Republic with me, Grey Hunter, we will go to Taurus. Until then, toodaloo.